Templates are all those default settings you like to have whenever you first start a project. Examples of default settings would be having fonts or your text, which happens to be all Arial or Times Roman or some sort of fancy script font. It could be the way you like to have your dimensions. It may be having your sheets set up a certain way with your title blocks having specific information. All that information is stored inside of a template file. You can use one of the default template files, which shows up here on the main menu, underneath projects and just some of the default templates. Or you can select on new to create a new project based off of your own existing template. So let's start by selecting on new from underneath projects. Here's that same list of files that we had over here. Most likely though, you want to choose your own template file, something that you've created that has your standards associated with it. To do that, you need to select on the Browse button. This will bring up the Choose Template dialog box. From here, you could surf on your network, find it on your own computer, wherever you store your templates at, you can go to it, and then highlight the one you want to be able to open up. In this case, we can see that there's ones that have default mechanical settings or electrical settings, some that are designed for more of a residential construction, maybe structural. And depending on your version of Revit, some of these templates may be different. Revit Architecture will have some different default templates from Revit 2014. That being said, though, we should all have a default.rte, which stands for default.revit template. Go ahead and select on that and click on Open. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a new project based off of that default template that's available to us. We also could click here where it has Project Template. If we did, we'd be creating our own template from scratch. And when we saved it, it would then be able to browse to in order to pull up those settings again and again on future projects. But for right now, we're just going to select on Project and create a new project based off of the default template. So select on OK. And this brings up our project, once again, based off of the default template. Some of the settings that are going to be in there are default floor plan views, default ceiling plan views, or default elevation views. Anything that would have a schedule associated with it could be preset by default, so the second you start to draw those things in, the schedule will start to populate. You can also load in default families, such as your default walls, doors, windows, the kinds of items you'd like to have from project to project, they can just be in your template. And then when it comes time to start a project, there they are. I'll also point out that if we go in and create a new sheet, that even your title blocks can be in here. So you can have your different size title blocks available to you. Then you select the appropriate title block off of the list and click on OK. It'll bring up your custom title block and you can start to fill up your sheet with information. So template files at their heart are really just a storage area for different information, such as your default wall styles, door styles, your default fonts, which are Times Roman, Arial, the way you'd like to see your dimensions set up, as well as such things as your default title blocks. So all those default settings and default content that you like to start your projects with, those should all reside in your starting template.